And here we go with, I think, about 9 or 10 films. So I'm going to go through them fairly fast. Uh, I want to make this a short video. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. First off is, uh, and I can pretend this is a good movie, but uh, it's pro it is actually the first uh, horror movie, one of the first horror movies that I watched with a girl that is now my better half. And uh, she wasn't that we are just, uh, we actually just met. It was kind of like a movie where friends watching two movies type of thing. And uh, the first time we watched, because she said she liked, uh, she said she liked horror, which she didn't, she lied. Uh, but she thought it was cool to like horror. And <laughs> she said she did, she liked a lot of the uh, wrestling stuff, like the wrestling Mexican horror and stuff like that. So I went to Walmart that day, and I saw a movie there. I picked up, I picked up for not like... Nowadays, it's in like the five dollar bin and stuff like that. But back then, I paid like thirty bucks for it, and it was WrestleManiac. Uh, is this a great movie? No, my God, it's not a great movie. Uh, it's got Rey Mysterio, and not the one from uh, from the WWE, but the actual uh, the original Rey Mysterio, his uncle. And uh, basically, uh, these uh, dudes are uh, making this amateur porn film. And uh, they go to like this area where this uh, parent there one time been this crazy luchador, and in luchador uh, wrestling, the thing you can do is like get your uh, they basically if they beat you they rip off your mask. It's kind of like the way to uh, dishonor you. And this is a crazy luchador. It's taking somebody. I don't know if it's taking me sterilize or it's just kind of like so anyway, some kind of big like thing behind the luchador. And uh, it's a. Uh, he rips off faces. <laughs> so, uh, very cool film, very gory. Uh, uh, Layla Milani, uh, I think she's in WWE, or she was, uh, is in this one here. And uh, apparently, one of the guys from House of Thousand Corpses. Uh, I just had fun with this movie. I know it's not a great movie, but uh, I just thought it was fun. Next up is one I really, I really do like, and I thought it was going to be a cult classic. But, uh, you never, uh, just never cut out. And that's Dead and Breakfast. I, uh, I love this film. I, uh, can hum the music to this very badly. You've, if you watch my video where I, I try to sing, uh, they know exactly what I'm talking about. But, uh, such a fun film. A little, kind of like a zombie sort of comedy. And, uh, great cast. And, uh, a really cool song in the middle of it, of, the, of it with a little kind of a dance number and uh, if you've ever heard it it just sticks in your head for days next up is one that I really think should have done well because everybody has their Dracula when they're growing up and uh, mine was Frank Langella so here we got Frank Langella and Lawrence Libia and Donald Pleasance in the movie together and uh, still it didn't do that well uh, John Batum of course from a Deliverance directed this one. I really, really enjoy this film. And there's certain aspects. I say I got photobombed by a cat again. I really enjoyed certain aspects Hello, kitty. of this uh, film. Uh, especially the ending. I really like the ending of this on the boat. I love that. I think I have cats that are like hogs for the camera. Um, next up, well, Psycho 4. A lot of people really hate this movie. You know, it was one of those uh, showcase, showtime, whatever t movies. It was on like uh, you know, not normal cable. It was on cable. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, and now, uh, after uh, people riding it for years, Bates Motel comes out and goes, and I go, ha, there. See, this is the genesis of Bates Motel, well, the real Bates Motel, not the Bud Cork pilot. Next up is one that I thought was going to catch on a lot more, and I was really surprised when this one didn't do well. It had a good-looking cast. Uh, it was a slasher film. Uh, maybe it just came out at the wrong time. A uh, great director behind it as well, uh, Jamie Blanks. And that's a Valentine. I, I really like this movie. Uh, the kills were pretty inventive. Uh, the cast was good. Uh, it was a typical 80s slasher film. And maybe people were moving beyond it or something, or just didn't get it. But uh, this was a really good slasher film back in the day. Next up is one that's more modern. A lot of people hate this. Uh, but I, I liked it. Uh, yeah, you guys are probably not going to like this one. 
but I just thought it was fun, and uh, had a lot of fun with this movie. And I will get the Blu-ray down the road. I picked this up, one up here for like 50 cents at a yard sale, great condition, and because uh, I watched it on like the Netflix or something like that. And because I was going to work at the time, I was working at the uh, the banks before I went back to uh, to to college to uh, finish my business degree. And that was just Shark Night. I really like Shark Night. Uh, it's just one that's, you know, a lot of it makes sense, uh, different sharks now, but I, it was a kind of a cool premise, it was really fun, I wasn't bored at all, so, why not? Next up is, uh, one, it's a Tobe Hooper film that never gets any love, and, uh, I never understood why, because I just thought it was a really good film, and I really love this edition, I really need to get more Dark Sky films, uh, Eaten Alive, maybe it's because it came after Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or maybe it just was so weird and different at the time, but I just really like this one. Marilyn Burns again stars in this one. Here, uh, Neville Brand is an amazing job in this film. Here, we got Carolyn Jones, William Finley, of course, from uh, Fan of the Paradise, Stuart Whitman, Robert Collins, Ma Robert England's in this one here, Mel Ferrer. Like, that's an awesome cast, and uh, this features are incredible on this. You really gotta check this out, guys. If you haven't seen this one yet, uh, you really should check it out. I thought it was an extremely fun movie. Uh, Ultra violent, tense, like uh, it kind of shot in the same way that uh, Texas Chainsaw was, but it's very different. Uh, next up is another one that gets no love at all, <clears throat> and it's the uh, Night of the Living Dead. It's the remake, and I thought Tom Savini did a great job with uh, a troubled uh, production of Night of the Living Dead. A lot of times his hands were tied, but you know he did the best he could, and there's some great casting in this one here as well. We got Tony Todd in this one here, Patricia Tillman. Uh, I really like this movie. If you buy it at a uh, at Walmart, you see the like this cover, and you notice this has like absolutely no features on it, but it does. It's actually got a bunch of features on here. Definitely worth checking out. The next one is one that, uh, okay, nobody's gonna like this one but me. I liked it, and I can't describe to you right now why I liked it. It's been such a long time since I've seen the film, but uh, it's just one I really enjoyed. It was kind of just a little thriller type thing. And uh, the hint crowd. Yeah, I know. Uh, pretty people, CW thriller. I, I just liked it. Uh, you know, I don't remember a lot about the film right now. I just remember that I found it really, really good. And it wasn't one that I watched like once or twice. It was one that I watched like ten or twenty times back in the day. And you know, it's kind of nutty for a movie that didn't do the greatest. And uh, most of the cast is probably unknown here. But uh, I thought it was a fun film, and you know, it's the type that I watch over again. Uh, I love horror. Horror is one is my favorite genre. You know, I watch a lot of different stuff. But, you know. I, like a Blu-ray Anonymous recently did a video talking about uh, movies that uh, critics didn't like, that uh, that he enjoyed. Well, you know, there's a lot of movies that critics don't like <laughs> that I enjoy because I'm a huge fan of, like, horror and slasher. And uh, they don't tend to get the best reviews in the critics. I like the uh, Friday 13th remake. I really did. I thought it was kind of fun. But uh, some people don't give no love. But anyway, those are some that I that I like. Uh, mostly horror, one horror comedy, Dinner Breakfast. If you haven't seen it, really check it out. Give it a chance. It's a, it's a fun little film. It's a cool little dance number in it. I know. Don't let that turn you off. It actually turns out really, really well. But uh, i got to get some more TV because i got to go to sleep soon. Because I've got the uh, festival tomorrow, like I said before. Battlestar Galactica, the original one with, of course, the uh, Cylons. Uh, the real Cylons, what that look like, real Cylons. You know, I'm old school. And uh, Tron, which is, you know, the special effects were good back in the day. And, uh, oh God, what are the other two? I've said them on here so much, you guys should know them anyway. Flash Gordon and uh, Logan Tron, the headset. So, anyway, give Blu ray Anonymous a, uh, a sub. He just, uh, he definitely inspired me for this one here. I haven't seen him in, in a few days, and I heard any responses from him. So if you're out there, Nathan, what the hell, man? Hope everything's okay. Uh, maybe you're just like me, sitting back, actually having your life in the giant your weekend, and uh, 
couldn't sleep tonight, so I decided to make some videos. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. If let me know what you think of those films. Are there any films that you like that you, that you know usually get like ragged on by your friends? Anybody else but me was like Valentine or uh, the In Crowd? Did anybody even see WrestleManiac? Uh, I loved it. I thought they were, it was fun. They were fun films, but uh, that's me. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, gotta ball that kettle because if I don't, it won't be uh, time for tea.